is your will, my master. Hey, good morning, Ribbon. A uh, quick demo video for you for two sabers. I've got your Corbant Star Killer here that we'll go over, and then uh, we'll go over this first. And then I've also got this Dennis Lukianov Creepy Uncle uh, that we'll go over after that. Um, on the Star Killer, well, actually, on both of them, they're both installed with Proppies. Um, this one has the fonts that you sent me on it, it's got. Uh, CC sabers in there for your lit PCB. That's the same on both of these and pretty typical of what I do on all sabers unless something is requested that's different. Uh, you got a two button setup. So up here is your your front is your activation, your back is your auxiliary. Um, this has the upgraded uh, chamber Greebly from Goth 3 Designs printed in brass, I think that is. So that's back there um, and it looks really nice, right? So and then this crystal chamber is wired independently from the blade. Uh, but you did want a resin chassis, so that's what I put in here for you. We just want to unscrew the handle. Take that off. And then here's your chassis. Uh, you will not be able to see it in the light, but it does say uh, Galen Merrick Star Killer over here in Arabesh. You'll see that when you get it in person. And then uh, Solo Sabers over here for me. All that kind of gets washed out when I'm trying to video it if it's in clear resin, but it does show up nicely in person. Um, you've got two different seven pixel accent strips in the chassis so one on each side here um, a removable battery right and then your profi board up here now this profi is adhesed down to the shelf um, but this is made in a way where you can get this sd card out um, and then never have to move the board so that's the way that chassis is designed um, and then of course you can get to your micro usb as well um, and then you've got a 28 millimeter smuggler's outpost elite speaker you've got that on both of these guys right so we'll throw a battery in I did not put the swing on feature you'll have to use the switch to turn it on uh, because it was going off when I didn't want it to but I did give you twist off my master will not forgive Ophelia so you got your chassis kind of doing I mean that thing is super bright and then I've also got your crystal pulsating when the saber is off as well and then these are on a timer so yeah, you know, eventually it'll go off. And I'll go ahead and I'll just let it go off. Well, we'll turn it on first because it does do something different when you it's on. You are helpless. You are nothing. And then that goes to match your crystal. That is super bright. So I wanted to show you that real quick before I put the handle on. And now we can put the handle on. Screw it down. And the cool thing about this chassis is it allows you to get shine through on these cutouts in your handle as well. Even when the handle's on, obviously. And then you'll see your pommel light up too. Right? I will give you so much more. What could you give me? Everything. This thing's plenty loud. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw a blade in it. It does take a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And then I'll show you where your blade retention screw is at as well. So you've got two bolts holding on the, the bunny ears right here. You're going to want to loosen up the one that's closest to the emitter right here. That's your blade retention. What could you give me? Everything. The flash on flash. Blade lock up. Nice and loud 
soundtrack. This is more of an erratic and stable blade style. See that there in your handle too. And then the twist off feature like that. Um, and then we'll just go over taking the battery out, which is really easy to do. Uh, the battery fits in here tightly, um, but that was designed like that on purpose so it doesn't fall out on you. So we'll just take the handle off. And then if you can't come over here and get it with your finger, which you, sometimes you can, you just take a tool and pop it out. It'll pop right out for you. Um, but that is basically your star killer right there. I'll put that back together off camera and we'll go over your... Uh, your creepy uncle real quick, which is right here. So this also has the CC sabers, right? It comes with a blade plug, but it pops out and you've got your lit NeoPixel connector. Um, the saber comes off in three pieces. So the first piece being uh, the pommel right here. You only need to take this off if you need to gain access to the board. Um, you've got a 28 millimeter speaker in here and its own speaker pod. And then if you look in there, you've got your speaker pogo pins and then access to both your SD card and your micro USB. Um, so again, this only needs to be taken out if you want to access the board. If not, we just take it out. We take it apart from right here at the grenade section. And then here's your chassis right here for a removable battery. This chassis was made to be a press fit into the middle section of this guy um, because it slides in, it makes connection with the speaker, and then when the grenade section is locked in, everything is locked in place where it should be and it doesn't move. Um, and that's how I designed this guy to be. So you've got you know your seven pin connector right here that makes connection with that blade side PCB you can see in there. And of course that powers up your NeoPixel pins. So we'll throw a battery in this guy. Throw the handle on when you put it in. Lock the handle down all the way and then you can see your LEDs flashing back and forth. This is the cage scene and it will stay like that until you turn it on. And it will go to green. Auxiliary back here. Power up here. And we can go to another sound font. Um, and we'll throw a blade in this guy too. This has a lot of blade depth for a thin neck saber. It's one of the things I love about it. But it also takes a one inch diameter blade. So you got one blade retention screw right here. We can go to switch to a green. It's pretty close. This is just a solid saber swing around. Smooth thugs.
take the blade out of this guy too. So yeah, uh, we'll go over taking the battery out of this guy too. Super easy. Get everything on here is working like it should, right? To get the battery out again, we'll just want to unscrew the grenade section. Pop it out and then you can pop this one out with your finger, no problem. Comes out just like that. Um, and that is pretty much your creepy uncle. Let me know if you got any questions. Um, if not, these guys will go out first thing Monday morning. All right, thanks.